wait a minute. Is this for real? Harry Maguire contract expiring in six months? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You're joking. Should we actually sign him for S2 GFC? Nah, it could be the most controversial transfer of all time. Bro, this guy is literally a meme. Have you guys seen him defend for Man United? Bro, it's not as if we don't concede enough goals. If we sign him, we might concede way more. Guys, just look at that overall. 82 rated. He's valued at 17 million. And we legit could get him for free. This would be ridiculous. Harry Maguire at S2 GFC, a transfer I never thought I'd be making. But since his contract's expiring, do we pull this off? All right, guys, that is not how I expected today's Creator Club episode to start off with. But the truth is, we're in a playoff position and there's a good chance we could get promoted to the Premier League. And dare I say, to play with the experience of Harry Maguire could actually help us. It kind of feels like I'm trying to convince that Harry Maguire is the right signing to make. Nah, man, I'm, I'm so freaking confused. But you know what? Maguire and Arnold are kind of built in a similar way. Maybe Maguire can teach Thomas Arnold a bit of football. Okay, that might not be a good thing. But you know what? I don't think we can go wrong with this because we're getting him for free anyways. He'll only be joining us next season. And if he's not good, we can sell him. So at least we'll be making a good amount of profit. And anyways, our budget is just 3 million right now. We're not signing anyone else for this season. We can only make maybe three contract signings. And Maguire seems like the best option. I cannot believe I'm doing this, but I'm going to be negotiating with Harry Maguire. Okay, if he asks me a wage above 100,000 pounds per week, he's, we're just kicking him out of here. Absolutely not. We're not going to break the bank on his wages, boys. We're absolutely not going to do that. But let's give him a three-year contract deal. Wait, bro is not even sure about joining us. Well, let's make it two years. Okay, we literally can't afford Harry Maguire's wages. Do we even make the signing? Well, let's remove the clean sheet bonus, and I think we can then afford Maguire. What am I even doing? Is this going to be worth it? I think, yup, 68,000 per week. He's going to be the highest earning player at S2 GFC. I think it's done. We're signing Harry Maguire for the upcoming season. That is sensational. Or is it? I, I, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Comment down below whether Maguire signing is a good thing or a bad thing. One thing's for sure. We've got a defensive monstrosity in Maguire that can either help us not concede or make us concede way more goals. Well, Maguire, um, bye-bye for now. We'll see you next season when hopefully we're in the Premier League. Now that kind of raises the stakes a lot higher for us, boys. We need to get promoted to the Premier League. I still find it kind of ridiculous that we can have Harry Maguire donning an S2 GFC kit. It legit makes no sense, but it kind of does make sense. But yeah, I think with that, we've concluded all sort of transfer business for this window. We don't really have any money. Let's just focus on hopefully getting promoted. Okay, we're gonna concede. Oh, big save from Dickel. No, they might score the rebound. Please stop them. What's happening? Arnold and Bernard somehow save us. That was chaotic. Also, anyone else feel Chong has been a bit of a fraud lately? He doesn't really do much. We'll keep giving him a chance, but soon he's gonna have to start delivering. Right now, though, Dave Rooney. No. Okay, Dave Rooney. Dave Easy. Rooney, proper chance, but he was straight at the keeper. Oh, Dave Rooney threw on goal. He's got to make the most of it. He's got to make the most of it, and he does. Dave Rooney opens the scoring. Do you know what? We've taken the lead, but I'm not happy with the heat chug. I feel like he's not been doing much, and I've been reading your comments. There have been a ton of you guys telling me that I need to be giving Billy Wilson more of a chance, and I guess let's do it. You guys want to see Billy Wilson in action? Looks for a lovely ball for Dave Rooney. Oscar Bob on the volley, but... Um, Okay, let's let's not do that again. Sometimes I just forget that these players are like 70, 74 rated. They, they're not going to score volleys like that. Okay, Luka Modric has got space to do something. Luka Modric, he is sensational. That should be the three points for us. I'm not kidding, guys. I genuinely feel like this season, we've got what it takes to get promoted. The thing is, we need to find a way to push towards the top two because automatic promotion is where it's at. Going through playoffs is, is stressful. But yeah, teams like Leeds United, they're not gonna be easy to beat. We kind of saw that in the last episode when they humiliated us. Take a look. Kovalenko is on it. Good pass. No, we concede. Thankfully, and they've scored. Leeds United make it 2-0. This is utter embarrassment. And this is the worst thing. Look at what Leeds United have been posting on social media after that. A picture of Kovalenko 
and Toby Payne. Bro, you, you can't be doing that. That's just disrespectful. But nah, the next time we face Leeds, we're gonna be ready. Also, why is Will Power up to all this again? Will Power was live on TikTok while sitting on the bench when we were 2 0 down against Leeds United. Bro, this is just shameless behavior. Do remember, as part of the TikTok deal, we need to score 15 goals with this clown. And man has scored at three goals so far. I guess we're saying goodbye to that TikTok bonus. Also, what is this? Remember Sheving, that training coach that I fired for no reason and had to pay 1 million to shut him up? Well, he basically scammed us. And look at this. Getting fired by Mr. S2G was one of the best moments of my life. I no longer have to go through mental breakdowns every day. Coaching willpower and the other lads. And thank you, S2GFC, for my new home. No. This guy just bought a mansion out of scamming us. That is unreal. Still feel like an idiot for getting scammed. In other news, let's move on from that because we're about to play our first ever FA Cup game. We're going to be playing against the Premier League team in Brighton. This should give us another taste of the Premier League level, but the last time we experienced Premier League level, yep, it was against Liverpool and it was not nice. Okay, let's at least not concede in the first five minutes. Like, no. Oh, and Chong is back for this game. We're going to be resting Oscar Bob and I'm playing Billy Wilson on this uh, right side. Let's see how he does there. Okay, already on the run here. Go on, Billy. Billy Wilson. Okay. A bit of a dribbler right there. But he's now got nowhere to go. We're still moving the ball run nicely. Dave Rooney. Billy. Go on. Billy Wilson. Whoa. That might be one of the best goals we've scored this season. I did not see that coming. Billy Wilson. You guys were right. We've got to give him more chances. Oh, look at everyone celebrating. It's our first goal in FA Cup history. And Billy is the one to get it. What a strike with his left foot. Guys, I did not see that coming. Let's now do everything we can to win this game. A first FA Cup upset by us. Oh, that would be tremendous. Guys, is it wrong that I'm already dreaming about an FA Cup run? It's it's too early. Luka Modric controlling the game from the midfield. Billy Wilson now. Okay. Keeps going. Could go for another one. Billy Wilson has done it again. What on earth is happening? We're doing it up against Brighton. We might be witnessing one of the greatest individual performances in S2GFC history. No, 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 no. Let's not. Let's not make a mockery of ourselves here. We need to hold on to this student lead for as long as possible. Somehow, let's get the ball off them. Denied. No, Tickle, what is happening here? And we avoid conceding. I'm just going to start getting the ball to Billy Wilson and hoping for him to cook Billy Wilson. Trying something again. Yo, that would have been the craziest hat-trick goal. Okay, no, no, no. We can't Denied. concede your big save from Sam Tickle. We're not losing this. No, 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 no. This is not what we need. It's game on now. Brighton have found a way back into this. We can't bottle from here. No, it's it's too tough. It's too tough to defend. It's too tough to defend. I can't do it. Maybe this is why we need Harry Maguire next season. All the hard work Billy Wilson has put in. Completely wasted. No, no, no. But not, but not saving us there. That is a goal saving challenge. But it won't matter unless we can go forward and maybe get a goal. And I see Billy Wilson making another run. Here goes Billy. If he scores again, completes his hat trick, it will be nope. historic. No, he can't do it. And we couldn't get the rebound. We're not giving up, though. We're not giving up. Lovely ball for Ribeiro. He got there first, but no, the keeper saved it. Guys, we're literally giving it everything. We just need a bit of luck. Are we going to get it from maybe a set piece? No, we aren't. Full time, and it's to draw between us and Brighton and you know what that means we're gonna have to do it all over again in an FA Cup replay game do you know what I think I gotta start Billy Wilson once again this time we can play on the left side Oscar Bob on the right actually Billy Wilson was so good on the right let's play him there and, and Oscar Bob on the left not changing anything else let's take this game seriously to be honest this is the best experience we can get for potentially next season we're also playing this one away at a Premier League stadium biggest crowd I think we've played against against. I think Ribeiro has kept himself onside and the Brazilian has got a chance to be the hero for us. Ribeiro, he slides it home. We take the lead once again. Since that Billy Wilson goal, we've not had the chance to do anything, but now free kick from a really good position. If Ribeiro produces something from here, it will be outrageous. Igor Ribeiro. Oh, that was so close. Billy Wilson, that first touch was outrageous. Looks for the ball for Dave Rooney. No, Dave, you had to score that. Maybe something from a set piece. We need it and Bernard gets it. We've doubled our lead. Let's go. No way, guys. I'm starting to believe again, but we were leading 2-0 in that first game too, and then we bottled it. Let's hope that does not happen this time. A few minutes later. No, no, not so easily. Not so easily. 
And we've given them a goal in the most easiest way. Luka Modric though, trying something special. Luka Modric! I can't believe it! That is goal of the season contender right there. And it gives us our two goal cushion back. Bro, how did he even do this? Luka Modric with the Trivella of dreams. Look at the loop. Keeper didn't see that coming. This is why you sign Luka Modric, man. Absolute privilege to have him. Yo, these guys have got their goalkeeper out. What is going on here? And Billy Wilson could now just run through and possibly score. Go on, Billy. Billy Wilson. Yo, a free goal for him. Billy, you've got to score this. It's too easy. It's too easy. And there you go. Billy Wilson gets the goal. The dagger. We've knocked out Brighton from the FA Cup. Nah, guys, this is one of the greatest moments in this club's history. The question is, where do we go from here? Do we double down on the FA Cup and try and win it? Okay, I'm getting ahead of ourselves. But we have drawn Fulham in what I believe is the round of 32. And they're playing in the same division as us. I think we can get the better of them. Also, as of now, it's not really affecting our run in the championship. We're fourth with 50 points we're doing okay so maybe we can focus a bit on the fa cup because it's just super exciting and by the way before we play our fa cup game against fulham if you guys want to represent the world's best club the club that harry Maguire will be joining soon get yourself your s2 gfc merch my personal recommendation is to probably get the hoodie as well as the s2 gfc jersey but you know what you can't go wrong with the cap this is the best way to support the club links will be in the description to get your merch and also use code rooney to get yourself a cheeky 10% discount. You know what? The fact that we've knocked out Brighton, like, honestly, it's crazy. We're, we're not getting knocked out to Fulham. Um, that's not the start we wanted. Do you know what? Now I'm confused. I don't know if Fulham are in the Premier League or the Championship because I don't remember facing them, really. I'm confused. We'll have to check after this game. Regardless, we need to try and knock them out. But right now, we're the ones getting absolutely crushed and we almost just conceded another. I made a big call for this game as well to not have Billy Wilson in the team playing Oscar, Bob, and Chong. I think I'm already, you know regretting that decision although if chong scores here this is why chong's finishing is so dodgy oh we've just got an opened up badly here this is this is not looking good we're lucky we're not two nil down oh this looks like a chance dave rooney proper opportunity but that's saved as well oh, i see a run being made i see a run being made lewis hall no nope. massive chance but that's saved by the keeper half time guys i think billy wilson has to come on he plays really well on that right side we're gonna try that again i don't want to get knocked out of the fa cup especially after going Going through all that against Brighton. This is what we want to see. Billy Wilson down the wing making a lovely run. Maybe a cross. Oh, it's brilliant. Dave Rooney. Oh, no. For a second, I thought that was in. Look at how close it was. Dave Rooney on the volley. Inches wide. Oscar Bob sees Billy Wilson. This is looking promising. Billy again having a massive impact, but he needs to get this one inside. Looks for Dave Rooney, and that goes off the bar and in. Let's go. There is hope. Yo, Billy Wilson in the FA Cup has just been different gravy. And actually, we might be going for the winner here. Igor Ribeiro. No, that was the chance. That was the chance. Oh, we might still have it. No, we don't. 90th minute and we put in a really bad challenge that's gonna be a booking and now they've got a free kick in the 92nd minute nah not this way please please don't go in i can't i can't man the fa cup is it's just it's just too much i can't deal with this how on earth has that just gone in oh the pain the pain i'm feeling right now and that was the last kick of the game what a clutch free kick with that our fa cup dream is crushed before it even began well at least this makes me feel a little bit better fulham are a premier league club so we almost got the result against the prem team getting promotion is the single most important thing for us right now after 30 games we're fourth in the league but you guys know how things can change in the championship. We just got to keep winning. The dream is to make a push for Leeds and Bournemouth spot. That would be just unreal. Do you know what? One thing that's great is that we've just got massive experience from playing against Premier League clubs. And I'm hoping they'll carry over in the championship. Okay, but this kid clash is honestly making me blind. Why do I do this to myself? We're going to concede because of it. Yo, we're going to concede because of it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, though Chong might get us back in this game. Finally, Tahit Chong has scored. Guys, it's actually happened. This guy can finish once in a blue moon. You know what? I think Chong is now aware that he's got competition. Billy Wilson has really been unreal. So if Chong doesn't play like this, he's going to get out of the team. Oh, Igor. 
Ribeiro, now Dave Rooney. No, how did we miss a tap in? Also, guys, it's so difficult to make out which players are mine and which players are the opposition because, my God, is this kit clash really frustrating to deal with. Oscar Bob has broken through and it's been a while since we've seen him score as well and he keeps going. Oscar Bob, no, puts it wide. The half literally kicked off and we conceded a silly goal. I can't believe this. Feels like we've learned nothing from playing against Premier League teams. Luka Modric is doing whatever he can to help us. It's a good bit of play. Ribeiro. Bruh. And he puts it wide. I, I don't know what we need to do. Oh, Chong. No, I, I thought my player was running up top. The kit clash is ruining everything. I think Dave Rooney's onside. I think Dave Rooney's onside. No, the referee blew the whistle. He was onside. I can't believe this robbery. Guys, we're going to do a VAR check. All right, guys, this is one of the best angles I've got for the VAR check. Is he on? Oh, Dave Rooney's big head, I think, was offside. Do you know what? We will give this one to the referee. Do you know what? I'm making sure we don't have a kit clash for this next game. I think, I think this should be fine. We have no excuses now. Now, we need to win this. Oh, he got Ribeiro. Massive chance. He's got a score. Of course he does. See, no kit flash and I can actually see what's happening. No, no, no. We've just gifted them a goal back. Oh, no. We've just let them score. What are we doing? We can't keep dropping points, man. We need something from this game, but... I just can't seem to do anything. Our wingers just look toothless in this game. And that's another defeat for us, man. Ever since that FA Cup dream run, we've not been able to transfer that into the championship. And look at that. That's more drop points against Bristol City. Ah, oh, finally we get a win, this time against Hull City. But guys, it genuinely feels like we're running out of gas. We're fifth right now. But if we keep this kind of form up, start dropping more points, we could drop out of a playoff spot. We're looking nowhere near the top two. Next episode, we're going to have to give everything to secure promotion and maybe we'll have to go through the dreaded playoffs.